All right, all right. Check, check. Check one, check two. This is it. Welcome to the Cannabis Talk Hour. Episode 173 with your host, me, Rob Cantrell, in the place to be. Where are all the honeys <laughs> for the bumblebees? Uh, Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. This is it. Uh, welcome to the Cannabis Coffee Hour. I thought I would do a little freestyle there, um, but then I got stuck in the honey. <laughs> the honey line. Uh, I got a great, great uh, set. I got a, a great cup of coffee. That's it. And I got a great uh, bowl of great cannabis. That's it. And it's me. It's the Cannabis Coffee Hour. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about a half hour or more. Uh, with these solo episodes, I love doing them. I prepare a little bit. Uh, I do have, uh, I was, I've been using the Chemex and I actually have been, I've been doing a little bit of oat milk, but I've actually gone completely black with my coffee. Um, especially for this last cup with the Chemex, it's like a filtered coffee. I used to do the French press, but my doctor was like, yo, we don't want to put you on um, cholesterol medicine. You want to do filtered coffee. I guess filtered coffee when you're using a strainer, uh, it's just a, a little bit better uh, for you in the terms of cholesterol. I don't know if you're worried about cholesterol, but being a cat my age, that's what's going down. Well, I think everything with the pandemic uh, is centering around health. I mean, the pandemic has, uh, you know, with everything, there's silver linings and uh, there's a lot of chaos and bummers out there in the world right now. We're talking world wars. We're talking shootings. We're talking, you know, God bless, God bless, uh, you know, everybody's nature. If you're breathing and living and the vibes are forever, if we choose them to be, what am I talking about? Uh, I'm talking that maybe I've had a little. Uh, I've got a, a great strain. This is called GMO jet fuel and it's a sativa dominant, but this has, this was grown outdoor. I'm excited, man. New York is opening up uh, with it. Yeah. The, the positive is, is that cannabis is opening up and especially New York. This is from a dispensary that's close by called uh, I got to give them a shout out. It's a, uh, it's called a, uh, um, Mr. Nice Guys, and they popped up and uh, they're, uh, you know, a California based cannabis dispensary, and they have a few in uh, DC. And then this is the one that has popped up in Brooklyn. I know others are popping up everywhere, like they're even in Google searches, their CBD stores are popping up everywhere. New York, I mean, the whole world is transforming in moving towards uh, a cannabis friendly society is what is happening. Um, and that has to do with health. I mean, I use cannabis, you know, to stretch out. And um, yesterday I had pulled my back, man. I went for a long walk, was trying to get my 10,000 steps, but my shoes are a little too old and I stretched my back and I haven't done that in a minute. And it fucked me up, man. A dude's back is hardcore. A woman's back is hardcore too. But backs are, you know, you got to watch out for it. That's why I'm always doing posture and stuff. I may have been like walking and meditating and doing all that way too much. Um, everything's balanced, everybody. But this is like, uh, I guess we're, I'm rambling and uh, on this podcast a little bit because this is a great strain, but it is a sativa strain, which is, uh, you know, a little heady. It's uh, and that's what goes well with this great cup of coffee. Um, so I got the GMO jet fuel. I got the, I got it in the glass one hitter. Perfect little chellum. Um, I do love these raw lighters, the round ones. Um, they come in handy. And if you're if it's ever in a windstorm, you could still light your joint bowl or spliff mon. Um, but now we're going to the coffee and I'm drinking it black. This is from uh, Atlas Coffee Club. My shout out to my dope brother-in-law, 
thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm getting these amazing beans and I'm getting to the point where I'm using the Chemex, I'm using a great filter on it. Um, I'm not doing like a ton of coffee. I'm doing like a nice, high quality cup. And that's what this podcast is. It's a high quality, nice cup. This isn't a two hour. This is the cannabis coffee hour. It's one hour. This is not no three hour podcast talking about everything under the sun. No, we're talking about cannabis. We're talking about comedy. We're talking about coffee. Uh, this coffee's from uh, the Atlas Coffee Cup, and it was from a country. I, I, I usually know all these countries, but it's in Africa, and it's called Bur, Burundi, Burundi, Bur, B-U-R-U-N-D-I, Nagazi, uh, Burundi, and then uh, Burundi's Coffee. I mean, this place is in Africa. Um. Burundi's coffee history. I'll just read it. After centuries of independence, the kingdom of Burundi became a colony of Germany in 1891 and was ceded in Belgium in 1924. The Belgians soon forced native farmers to grow coffee as a cash crop and sell it back to Belgium. The independence in 1962, both the quality and quantity of coffee in Burundi declined as political upheaval and destablement in the new country. In the 1990s, civil war spurred a deliberate destruction of 2 million coffee trees. Man, this country's been through it. Preventing the new rulers from benefiting from the cash crop. After privatizing the industry in 2008, man, time is flying and investing heavily in the infrastructure like washing stations. Today, uh, 750,000 families rely on coffee as their main source as income. With its rich volcanic soil, high altitudes and rainy climate, Burundi is a rising star in specialty coffee and farmers are forging a pathway to stability. Oh, wow. From an alluring acidity to a malty chocolate sweetness that finish that sweeps in and carries the coffee light, lingering black tea finish. This batch is delicate, flavorful, and will satisfy your palate front to back. Oh, wow. Burundi, I did not know. Much respect to your coffee. This is pure. This is beautiful. Um, this is this is the actually the last bean. I saved it. I had some lava zava vava, uh, some lava laza. It's the Italian coffee. Um, but this I had the whole beans. The other ones were ground, and I do. But this is like ground. This is flown in from Burundi, and I have to say, it is a beautiful cup of coffee. And that's what I've been saying. I made a big batch of this, but with the Chemex, you can kind of quality out and make like a cup and a half of like really good coffee that you kind of sip on. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, so I've been enjoying the coffee and uh, I've been enjoying the cannabis. I've been, uh, I took a few days off I've, uh, uh, and then I've ran into this uh, dispensary and I talked to him, Mr. Nice Guys, check him out. If you're in Brooklyn, ask around. I don't know. Uh, it's still a donation, but uh, I don't want to blow up their spot before it gets super, super legal. But it seems safe to me. Uh, <laughs> hopefully I talked to him about the podcast and maybe have him on. I really think uh, national legalization is happening. I mean, just in terms of the businesses that I see in Manhattan, like I did. I did a great show in Manhattan. Well, it was all right. Uh, it was like a bar show, but it was really hard. Like half the crowd was Portuguese. I don't know how it happened, but uh, I had to do like really main themes and I got laughs and I had I had to follow a, a great comedian and it worked out. Uh, there was comics on the bill that I respected. It was just a funky scene. Just Manhattan's funky. There's like all these nightclubs everywhere and cannabis shops and i went into a cbd store 
but it was like high end, and but they were selling CBD. And I kept on asking the dude, I said, you got any loose joints? And he was like, no, no, you got to go to this, like, they said empire. Um, they, and, but he had like a brand new shop that was like all decked out. They must've got some kind of crazy student loan for it, you know? And, uh, you know, and it was like high end, but it was all like, you know, that THC Delta and all that, like, uh, you got to keep it real. I mean, I love all that stuff cannabis good uh, yeah and the marijuana like the real cannabis shops have been going too hardcore in the paint in terms of like the thc level and the super dabbing which i'm not against everybody's got their own vibe but for me uh a joint and a half a day or just always got a little bit of a one hitter laying around um but i do like going a few days off but i also like when I pulled my back, man, um, I got two different strains from uh, Mr. Nice Guy. One was an indica, indica and one was a sativa. But my indica was Kush cake, um, which is Kush and like, I guess, uh, cake. Uh, there was cake batter. What was it? What was the strain that was that everybody was on? Um, but uh, Kush cake is what it was called. And it was luxurious. Like, it just relaxes indica will put you in the couch and that's what i needed when i pulled my back when i did instead of doing ten thousand steps i did fifteen thousand steps on some rundown shoes and my back heel just was like got worked and somehow because my back heel the top of my back got strained out so i was like ah oh, damn woke up was all i was all rigid man i was all frankenstein out i was like oh oh bro uh, and, uh, I had to get my wife to put an elbow up in there, man. I had to put an elbow in my back. God. Um, got it. You know, I got it with a hot shower. And then I have this like yoga manual. I didn't do any meditation or anything. I just worked on relaxing and staying off my legs, uh, staying off my feet for a minute. So I've been working on this writing project. Um, but I think it tweaks my back sitting down like that's what I, I like about standing up and walking around that's what i like about doing stand-up you could sit down or stand up um shout out to gerard carmichael great hbo uh special he doesn't need this press he's doing all right Oh, wow. That's outdoor grown. That's amazing. That's probably some of the best in Brooklyn right now. Um, the guy knew his stuff between outdoor and indoor, and they had the two different kinds. That's what's good about hanging out with Californians. They definitely know their cannabis, man, because it makes a big difference. It makes a big difference and everybody's a little bit different and every strain hits a little bit different. Everything hits a little bit different. As life moves forward, even comedy, even music, uh, the two band, like, I think with all the streaming and all the content, like even the stuff that I love can sound played out right now and new sounds and vibes are needed. And that's why I think podcasts and music is like ever evolving. Uh, so check out my uh, album that's out there, Caffeinated Dope Rhymes. Um, I am proud of that. Um, I do like the song Give Peace a Dance. It seems to be moving up in the numbers. Uh, so people are responding to it. I just don't think they know what to do with it. Like the way I come out music, I kind of come at it kind of serious, but not full comedy but not full serious if that makes sense same way with this like podcast man this is like a real coffee review this is like slamming i wrote down the word eucalyptus for some reason <laughs> uh i do love that word and how it sounds in the eucalyptus trees eucalyptus how it rolls out. Did you hear how it came out? Eucalyptus. 
Uh, it's a fun word. It's like, like hippopotamus is good, but eucalyptus. I don't know. For some reason, it just like kind of woo, 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 uh, a little up and down. A little dune buggy action. Nothing wrong with a little dune buggy action. But with uh, all this music, I do like Fiend. I would say the two b- new bands that I listen to like the most is uh, right now is Stick Figure. Um, shout out to them uh, or that dude. <laughs> it's like one dude, but he has a band. But uh, he's always like, yo, it's it's me. But it is him. Uh, I should get his name proper. Uh, I listen to a, a stream your joints all day long. So, yeah, thank you for making that great music. Um, but I go in and out of uh, a reggae. Like you can get there and then you same thing with uh, all music, I guess. Sometimes I've been going no music. And just getting right into the moment. Because music can be a distraction. Like if you do too much music and especially with uh, ear pods and pods and pot, if you're always having stuff in my ear and you're talking to dude that pumps beats like in cranks metal. Sometimes my wife's like looks at me because I just like crank like metal and like hardcore music through my earphones like she used, I haven't done as bad, but used to be like loud like you can hear it like you're like, what is this spaz going through? I'm just like. <laughs> Um, but I'm not like a full metal head, but uh, I do like the band Clutch. I still listen to a lot of Clutch and I still listen to uh, a lot of Foo Fighters, man. I've been uh, pumping some Foo Fighters uh, and then I've been going back to Soundgarden. That's the whole thing with Chris Cornell passing away and, you know, suicide and all that. Like out of everybody, out of all those bands in the 90s. Like for real, real Soundgarden was my jam. Like I just and I remember the first album, my man uh, Ben hooked me up with the first album. And I remember how it looked and like that was the first like kind of hard rock. Like you like hard rock, but it got so cheesy that everybody's like, oh, this shit's cheesy. And then you like uh, artistic shit. But if it's too artistic. There's just a good place in the middle for everything. And Soundgarden was that shit. Like Soundgarden was like just dark enough and just light enough. Um, and you liked Chris Nor- Cornell. Uh, this, it just made sense. It just made sense. The shit was fucking fire. Some, just at one moment, you'd be like, oh, man, I love my wave. My wave. That's a great um great sound garden song my wave great surfing song very surf visual but that's what about i i'm not even that hardcore of a surfer but i like that motion that forward whoosh i was thinking about that when i was uh i actually got a colonoscopy everybody shout out to my uh colonoscopy doctor um i won't put them on uh the internet i i'm not sure if i talked about this but i had to schedule that and uh i got cleaned out i had to drink the shit that made me shit uh not to get too nasty on this thing um but you got to keep it real but i didn't want to talk about it because it is a uh podcast about coffee so you got to keep the defecation jokes a little you want to keep it you know i still want to enjoy this cup of coffee but it worked out i guess it wasn't that bad and they put me on, I think, I, I'm not sure if I talked about this or not, because I do smoke a little herb during this podcast. Um, and I know I wanted to kind of work out some of this material in my stand-up and, uh, and talk about colonoscopies, because uh, sometimes you just got to get down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> but I came out, God bless, or, you know, bless, or one love, or wherever you're at, uh, it worked out. I didn't have any uh, cancer. I didn't have any prostate cancer. So that's good. So that you got You can't be bummed about that. You got to tip up some big tap water for that. You know, I, getting back to the moment, being grateful. That's when you get really to the moment is grateful for the little things. Grateful for this. You know, I only got a half a cup of coffee left today and it's a gray drizzly day and I got some great urn, but 
I am going to enjoy this cup of coffee. It's very good coffee. And I get to, I get to have it with you, you out there listening on the internet. Uh, Burundi, Burundi. Um, I can't wait to travel more. Um, I would like to go to Africa. There's a great comedy festival in South Africa that I've been eyeing up for years. And it's supposedly they put, it's like on this beach town and um, they put the comics up and, uh, and, but it's very, it's just known, but I don't know. I've never, I haven't done it. Um, and that's a long flight. I want to, I want to concentrate here in America and then go out and then go to cannabis. Like for this podcast, I loved going out to Colorado. That was amazing. And Boulder is dope. I got to get back out there soon. And I also got to get to Michigan. They have such a great cannabis scene, Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Um, these are the places of DC and now New York. I mean, it, New Jersey popped off and uh, I heard it's doing so good out there. Well, I haven't heard. I've just seen a little bit, but it's been like really rainy and cold here and with COVID and with the pol pol politics and society running a little sideways right now. It's hard to tell what's going on out there. That's why I'm always like, man, you got to treat everything with a little bit of gloves right now. Um, because people are on edge. Um, like, and COVID's coming back up. I masked up um, all during Colorado. Nobody in Colorado was masking. I saw maybe a couple, but I was masked up and I did the whole trip and I've been testing negative since. And it's been like a couple of weeks. And I've been taking a lot of uh, tests, but, you know, it's luck. A lot of it, too. It's like. Preparation and luck. Um, you know, keeping it simple, wearing your I'm, I've been wearing my mask going inside. Never trust, trusted the inside funk, uh, but hopefully it'll clear out. And I got some good cannabis. I can't say cannabis blocks the COVID, but I, I kind of wanted to do a, a routine like cannabis, like coming across like a big dose of COVID. Like, it try, you know, it can't handle getting that, that high these days. But mostly I want to, with that tricky back, I, I want to go into like a steam room. I haven't done a steam room in a while. The last one I did was in like a Russian one in the Lower East Side and I drank a beer afterward and I got hung over. Shout out to my man, Dan Curry, that I did that adventure with. It was like this thing that you go, you go down the Lower East Side, it's like this Russian bath. And you have to wear your bathing suit. But I had this dope ass bathing suit, but I changed out of it. Um, and I, I left it there and that bummed me out. I was like, damn, that was a good bathing suit. But now I got this good one. Um, that's like, I like these bathing suits that are like, you can't tell if they're shorts or not. So it's like, they look like, you know, regular shorts, like, you know, kind of like business casual if you lived in Southern California. <laughs> or Ecuador or Burundi um, but yeah I've been listening to those are the bands I've been listening to and what else have I been listening to um, yeah going out without music trying to listen to birds in the sky and stuff like when I go into the moment and when I get into the moment, I'm like, oh, just listen to those birds. You know, they're just yelling. Because the other day I was walking by and this tree had like 8 billion of them. They sounded like they were talking to me. I was like, yo, what the fuck's this? Um, but if you're all in your head, you're going to miss that. I've been staying out of my head by like listening to nature. Getting wild, getting out there. I loved getting out there and doing performancing or uh, doing stand up. 
But uh, right now I'm not doing anything. I'm just working on writing the shows and uh, doing this podcast and building up this podcast. And uh, so I appreciate everybody that's listening. I appreciate everybody that's supporting. Tell your friends, smoke one, Ja Rastafari, ever living, ever loving, um, positive vibrations. Uh, that's what the gig is with this podcast. You know, I just wanted to put something out that is like, you know, celebrating. This is like one of the last few sips of this amazing, amazing coffee um that i'm just psyched to be uh sipping on uh but yeah colorado was amazing new york is opening up um it's getting it's getting uh in terms of cannabis we might be shutting down but uh, in terms of cannabis, uh, it's been opening up. And in terms of perform, I think people want to go out and people love New York. Uh, I do. You know what else uh, I've been watching that I love? I, speaking of going out is the L.A. Lakers uh, dynasty. That that TV show I was wanting. I watched the whole episode of the last one. I was like, I was like, there's no way they got to keep going. It's so good. But I think that was the last episode. They won the championship. Uh, maybe they're going to do more. But man, if you want to check out an amazing, amazing television experience, check out uh, Dynasty, Road to Dynasty or Lakers Road to Dynasty, HBO Cinemax. HBO and Cinemax got together and now they're streaming uh skin and max got funky with hbo real sex and knocked it out <laughs> had a stream and now they they gave birth to a streaming service uh that put together possibly one of the best television i don't even know what you call those things now like media is so chopped up like uh it's like because there's movie stars in this thing um, so shout out to HBO Cinemax, um, keeping it moving, keeping it grooving. Uh, I do want to buy this beat machine, but I, I got to book some more gigs before. So if you want to, uh, book me, <laughs> reach out to contact at Rob Cantrell. I might get back to you if it's good enough. Um, but I'm working on booking um, I got a great gig here in Brooklyn at the end of June at Littlefield and the lineup is uh, insane. Um, so go check that out. Uh, Rob Cantrell and super friends. And then I'm going to do another one in August and I'm, to I'm toying with a few people that I've toured with in the before and uh, to reach out to, but I've already got a couple people booked on it. Um, so that should be fun. You know, yeah, just doing, yeah, producing my own show. So that one's, these are all ones that I'm producing. I'm having control of, you know, it's not going to be whack or weird. Uh, I'll be weird on stage, but that's, that's a part of the gig. Speaking about part of the gig. But shout out to sleep uh, when I wasn't smoking cannabis. And those were like some good days. I was very focused and I wasn't consumed with myself and I could e easily like weave in and out. And it's also trippy how the day opens up and starts moving and you kind of ride the day out without any weed, which is fine. But I wasn't even smoking at night. Like I went raw dog for like, you know, four days. And it was fine. I've done that before. You just got to realize that you don't have any weed. So the first night you're like, oh, yeah, I remember I don't have any weed. So I do my mantras in my head uh, at night to program my subconscious. But. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm just like uh, I'm confident there. I got these like really su super simple ones. And once I learned about like programming your conscious at night and in the morning, I really believe in like whatever you put out there comes back to you. That's why I'm just like, 
I love you. Uh, thank you for listening. I am grateful for the, this cannabis and this amazing coffee and this amazing experience and this amazing day, especially at uh, this time and age and then at my age to keep dancing. Uh, health is everything right now. You know, even before health was always everything, but now it's like doubled down. But the ace of spades is that anything can go down any minute. Uh, that's why you can't diss Motorhead. <laughs> if you got a bamboo, I'll tell you, oh man, you win some, you lose some. It's all a game to me. Motorhead is uh, rad. They, he, that song's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, I've been, I get lost in some of this like rock and roll lore because I like it. You know, I, I grew up reading Rolling Stone magazine, but the only thing is like some of this stuff ends up being in, in the gossip file. In my mind, I don't want to take up gossip and especially to people I don't know. So it's like, I usually just like to rock out to some tunes while I'm doing some bullshit. <laughs> And then I'm like, oh, man, I got to focus. Some people can focus with music, some shit like cleaning. Like definitely you want to pump some beats, pump some music when I'm cleaning. I'll definitely listen to some turnstile. Matters my mood. Uh, you can't have a headache and rock out to like heavy, aggressive music. But then times you like feel sluggish, like a heavy, aggressive music is like kind of like coffee. And it can get your senses going and you're just like, yeah, I'm alive. I'm riding the lightning. If you want to gamble, I'll tell you I'm your man. You win some, you lose some. All okay to me. Uh, oh, getting down to this last bit of coffee and it's so good. Yeah, I do listen to a lot of music on YouTube. I would say that's the most. And listening to live concerts. Like, I really think, like, that's what I've been thinking about is, like, uh, about video and just, like, media and and having to watch out what you absorb. Um, I end up, like, absorbing podcasts that I shouldn't be listening to just because I'm doing a podcast. And I think some of these algorithms <laughs> lead me down some podcasts and then i'm like ah fuck what am i doing i gotta make my own podcast uh but it's nice to know what's out there um but i always wanted something that wasn't gossipy that wasn't uh that was just positive and uh it could be boring it could be not but it's it's also you know we got a church bell going out in the background thank god for church bells uh, I wouldn't know what time it was. <laughs> They're always a little off. And you're like, was that seven? Was that 12? Um, is somebody really up there ringing it? Or is it on robotics? Church bells on robotics. They're always going off all around me. There they are. Oh, they're hitting them with the with the funky rhymes. They got the this is like a song song with the church bells. That's not even the one, two, three. This is like they're singing, uh, you know, uh, blue suede shoes or something. I don't know what's going on. Opera me me me. Um, uh, I want. Some me to talk more on the podcast about something. What? A, but this coffee is amazing. I'm down to that last little sip. But it's all flavor. That's what I like about com uh about black coffee. It's like all flavor. So it's like a little bit like sipping it. And then it's a little bit like chocolate. You know, chocolate and coffee are just like right next to each other. 
and good weed is right next to all three of them. That's why you got to like and subscribe to the Cannabis Coffee Hour. Who doesn't like a little bit of chocolate and coffee and herb? <laughs> uh, good vibes, good friends. Um, thank you, Maeve Higgins. Uh, I've been, uh, I finished her book, uh, Lickety Split. I can't, the Mel Brooks one is so big and thick, I get intimidated by it. But I started it. But then I, I had my bad back. And so everything I shut everything down when I had my back because I live really healthy and I don't like I stretch all the time. And then all of a sudden I couldn't touch my toes. I was like, oh, damn. But it was from overdoing shit. And I think you can always like overdo shit. You know, I like to keep it even keel. Know when to uh, when to slow down, when to pull away. Maybe it's just a one cup of coffee a day. Maybe it's two and a half. But you always got to drink those big jugs of water. I got literally just like a milk jug of tap water right here. <laughs> I got an analogy and I don't have a milk jug of tap water, but I, I, I would drink a milk jug. I pee a milk jug. <laughs> okay, I got to get out of the gutter on this podcast, but we're all flowing uh, and we're all going. Uh, and I want you to uh, appreciate yourself because I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for listening to the uh, the Cannabis Coffee Hour. Check out Mr. Uh, nice Guys if you're ever in D.C. or in Brooklyn. Um, I definitely highly recommend the GMO Jet Fuel. Um, great uh, little buzz. I feel like uh, cleaning my sink and getting my Sharpies in order, uh, color coordinated. Um, shout out to this eucalyptus hand cream. That's where I got the word eucalyptus. I got this hand cream like an old lady, like an old lady. I'm just, I'm just rubbing hand cream on. Uh, that's what I'm into these days. I got eucalyptus hand cream, okay? I'm smelling like eucalyptus. When I punch you, it's going to smell like eucalyptus uh i'm like an old lady i'm like a mean old lady i got hand cream uh and i got uh lots of love for all of you people um check out my music videos uh loving is what i got you can see what i got i, I cover a sublime song on youtube that's what i did during the pandemic don't tell me i wasn't don't tell me i wasn't productive during the pandemic I recorded a sublime cover song and shot a music video to it. So don't tell me uh, it's not on TikTok, but it's on uh, IG uh, only movies, not reels. I haven't figured reels out, uh, but for reels, I love you. Thank you for listening to the cannabis coffee hour. Uh, check out the Patreon. If you got a little extra dollars, if you don't just hit like and subscribe or tell a friend or, you know, in a passing conversation or yell it out the window that you like uh, the cannabis coffee hour um, or don't, you know, it's up to you. I love you and peace, one love. I'm going to break out. My stomach is rumbling. Discovering truth is not a question of intelligence. It's intelligence, or intellectual ability, or intellectual intelligence. That's all. Because if it were, that would be a small name, you would be a um, sharp intellect. You know, they have such skill at comprehending or going to the point. So, if that was all that it took, there would be many, very, many, many. Actually,